Caleb Henry with us with Bandwagon TV's Joyride, all the way from Fontana, California. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. It's, uh, it's a warm one today, but uh, I'm inside, luckily. So when we're talking about warm, how warm are we talking? Uh, we're working with the hundreds right now. Um, it'll fluctuate between 90 to sometimes all the way up to 110, 115. Yeah, it's and it's also that dry heat. I don't know if I miss that so much, but uh, when you add the... I prefer the dry heat. I actually do over over humidity. Yeah, I think I think you're right because you know here in Texas, it's it's brutal. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah. I was just hanging with somebody from Texas, and they were saying it's pretty rough. So, Caleb Henry, for people that aren't familiar, our audience, if they're not familiar, I want you to at least give a, us a good intro, a little bit about yourself, your musical influences, a little about where you're from. Especially from California, I love the music scene there. So if you don't mind, sir, please share with us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Caleb Henry. I'm from Fontana, California. The favorite city of mine in this state. Born and raised here, will probably die here. Uh, musical influences are kind of interesting because originally I started out as, uh, and still am, I have punk rock till I die tattooed around my kneecap. And so that's always been the, I guess you could say, musical ethos of my life. But... The more I started writing my own music, the influences that started coming out were kind of like <clears throat> from stuff that my dad would um, play in the garage when I was growing up. A lot of John Denver, that kind of that kind of era of stuff. And so those those kind of influences started coming out when I uh, would write my own stuff. And then the rock and roll music as well, that uh, and the punk influences and whatnot. And so they kind of merged into one. And that's kind of how I ended up with the sound that I have today. Yeah, you do have a bit of a unique sound, and that's why I, I mean I was really excited for us to come together here and do this interview. But when I was listening, I want to talk about California Mistakes, which is a, an album that you had out in April here in a minute. But when I'm listening to that, I'm getting a lot of southern rock vibes. You do have, I think, you have the fiddle, I think, in a couple yes. of those songs. But listening to a lot of your acoustic stuff. I actually wanted to mention John Denver. I feel like, and I told you this before the interview, that I feel like I'm on like a frontier hike, like I'm looking, I'm mining for some gold in the wild west, the gold country of California. Like I'm a pioneer and I need a banjo. And so you have these unique sounds that you're merging. And I think it's just so exciting. I wanted, yeah, if, if so I, back to your album that you had out last year. And like, again, we don't, I don't want to talk about COVID a lot on the, this because I feel like sometimes we're just over and we want to move on. But you yes, had, yeah. yeah, but you had an album, you, you know, you're an independent musician. You had an album come out in really the height of everything of this pandemic in April. How was that in terms of getting your music out? What were you doing differently? Uh, you know, so a lot of the same stuff that a lot of other people were doing, the live streams helped a lot. Uh, on Instagram, um, we did uh, one thing that was really fun. Actually, I almost kind of forgot about that. Is we started doing backyard shows, which are oh, that's cool. uh, not necessarily uncommon in Fontana, mm -hmm. but uh, that was that was one way, just inviting neighbors, friends, uh, local fans in the area from you know LA and whatnot out to Fontana to uh, do live backyard shows, and so that was one thing that helped a lot. If you like, so before we pull over here, I want to get into the California music scene and specifically where you are, Fontana, the San Bernardino area. It's the valley right there. Sure. How, just describe that music scene. It is a bit unique. I mean, because here we are, it's California. We don't really expect a lot of country western right. music or that, I guess, Americana folk to come from that, but a lot do. Yeah. Yeah, so it is interesting. I mean, you, you do. It, particularly towards the Los Angeles area, you, you kind of start getting a lot of um, pop country, you know, type stuff. Uh, for for more kind of what we do, we're a little bit of a anomaly, I guess you could say, in the Fontana area. There's a lot of uh, still a lot of punk. Uh, there was a there was actually a, a group called Vertigo Volumes for a while that would host uh, backyard shows, and they would kind of do it all over the place. But the my favorite ones were always in Fontana. <laughs> and it was a lot, of, a lot of punk bands and stuff, but with that, you get a lot of rockabilly, psychabilly. And so people who were still interested towards the country or outlaw country music scene, country rock, whatever people want to call it. Um, and so it's we are a little bit of an anomaly in this area, and there's also hardly any places to play here. And that's why a lot of people do backyard shows. Uh, there's no real music venues. There's a couple bars that do live music, but... <clears throat> nothing like LA, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's interesting navigating it. It, it kind of changes, uh, every, every year, you know, uh, 
new place might pop up that wants to have live music and then get closed down or whatever. And so uh, it's it's a little bit of a roller coaster. Well, very cool. I thank you, you know, for sharing that. And um, yeah, I just find it very. Very cool, very unique, I guess, because I'm from that area. But I, again, thank yeah, you very yeah. much for, for showing and, and telling us all about it. We're about to pull over the white lightning, so I hope you're ready for the the, the lightning round. But before Absolutely. we get it into it, I wanted to talk about local businesses. So here we go. We're going to pull over the white lightning, and we're going to talk about local businesses. For example, for us uh, with Bandwagon TV, we're still promoting. We have Young's Barbecue and More that we're promoting on our website. Go check it out. It's at www.bandwagontv.com. But Caleb Henry, do you have a local business that you want to plug here with us today? I do, actually, uh, one that I am very passionate about. They've kind of became, uh, become my, my favorite clothing brand. They're called Anti-State. Okay. I'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now. Uh, they're a, a small business, uh, but they put out phenomenal clothing with really cool graphics and a great message. So check out Anti-State for sure. Are they from your area, or how did you guys get connected? Um, you know, we actually got connected through Instagram. Their location... Um, isn't necessarily uh, local to this area, but they are an independent company. Okay. And they they killed it through 2020, and they're still they're still pushing pushing through and doing great things and uh, really putting out inspiring stuff. Well, good stuff. I appreciate that. Hey, thanks, yeah. and you know, all shout yeah, outs to <laughs> yeah, especially with like merchandise to Instagram. I mean, you saw, I yeah. saw lots of companies, and really now the the success coming from using Instagram and social media has really helped out. Oh yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, some, some people are just literally starting on Instagram and then creating designs and that's how that's how they do their business. Gail of Entering, here we go. We're going, we're all, all right. in it. We're, this is the lightning round, blazing fast. Here we go. All right, I'm, I'm so, so this is a question I just came up with when you really just hated all over my Explorer question, which really made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, fishing. Or playing live gigs. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so rough. Oh, my God. That is so rough because I'm literally going fishing this weekend. Um, and it's funny because whenever we play up in Bakersfield, we always make an effort to go fish either Lake Isabella or Kern River. And so usually we're able to fish and play gigs in the same day. But because of the fact that music is not only what I want to do with my life, but it is my biggest passion, I'm going to have to go with playing gigs. All right. But fishing is definitely... <laughs> It's right. up there. Okay, so I did good. All right, <laughs> I was just, yeah, that was I just put. All right, I put that one together. All right, here we go. Uh, this is from you, courtesy of Caleb Henry. Uh, two musicians from the Fontana area: Travis Barker from Blink One Eighty Two and others, other things, and Sammy Har Hagar. Sammy Hagar or Travis Barker? Who would you go with? Um, you know, I actually, I have a few very unpopular musical opinions, and one of them is that I like, uh, Sammy Hagar with Van Halen, or Van Hagar better than I do David Lee Roth, that Sammy Hagar was a better singer, considering yes. he can still sing, um, so I'm gonna have to go with Sammy Hagar. This is because I was listening to your album, Southern Rock, I mean, who doesn't love good Southern Rock? So I have to ask this, Leonard Skinner, or the Allman Brothers? Another rough one because we do actually cover uh, the Almond Brothers, um, but I am gonna have to go with Leonard Skinner on that because that was one of the bands that first started getting me into uh, Southern rock as as a whole. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go go with Skinner for sure. Yeah, I you can't go wrong with either of those. But great answer. So now we're in this white lightning. Actually, you've taken over. I'm sitting in the bed of the truck here. And we need, you need a co-pilot because you're traveling across America. Dead or alive musician, who do you got? That is an incredibly hard one uh, because I'm somebody when I am on a long trip, I like to just put the radio on. Uh, <laughs> you're I'm a big talker. I can just sit there and listen to music. I think, oh, it's so tough. A part of me wants to say Dimebag Daryl. And who's that? I'm, 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 not fam who's the, I'm not familiar with that. Dimebag Daryl was uh, the guitarist for Pantera. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, real, real legendary guitarist. Uh, Pantera's you this. legendary band. Yes. But I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, Dwayne Peters from the US Bombs, who is uh, my favorite, one of my favorite punk bands because uh, that would be a, a very wild road trip. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't say anybody from Social Distortion, just because I know that whole area and being a punk fan, but I'm glad that you are. Uh... Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, I, I love Social Distortion, uh, but but with Dwayne Peters, I mean, not only did he create so many of the uh, skateboarding tricks that, yeah. are, that are out there, 
but being in, in one of my favorite punk bands, he's he's a he's a character for sure. So I definitely feel like there'd be no boring times. So now we're going through. You got you know everyone checking your phone for this playlist of yours. You got anything that'll surprise us? Maybe embarrass you a little bit? Funny, it, yeah. Lately, it, it sounds strange, but I've been listening to like like some synth pop stuff. <laughs> you know, like, 80s sounding uh, dystopian type. Uh, I was playing it for uh, Ryan. He he plays guitar in the band, uh -huh. and he's like, dude, like, what are you listening to? Uh, but yeah, there's there's a a group called uh, Gunship. Uh, there'd probably be one or two of those songs in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to check them out. Well, hey, Caleb Henry, you did great. Thanks Thank so you. Much. You know that was fun. All right, but this part is on you. We're looking for upcoming things. And I know you're, you've been a busy guy here. So share yeah. with us, what do you got going on for 2021? Well, um, whew, yeah, so we're in the recording studio right now. We actually uh, just started uh, last weekend, uh, started recording at Summit Studios in Pasadena. But in terms of this year, we're hoping to get out a single that people have been asking for. It's a song called A Few of My Favorite Felonies. Yeah, we're working on it right now. We're finishing up guitars for it, and then we gotta lay down the vocals and, and get some uh, some other stuff on it. But there is a, a lot more coming out after that. That's kind of all I can say about that. Very exciting, and I, I wanted you to share too, I know that you and your band, The Customs, they, you guys were out in uh, Bakersfield. Tell us a little bit about how, that, and really, how did it go? I mean, California, is starting to open up, we got live music again, so. Uh, Friday, we were in Bakersfield, and again, you know, we are did some fishing before the gig, mm -hmm. snapped my line on a very large fish, which was frustrating. <laughs> um, and then uh, after that, uh, on the Saturday, we were playing in Los Angeles, and both were amazing. The one uh, in at the Mint in Los Angeles, the Mint is kind of our, our home venue, is the place that kind of started everything for us. We were originally, the, the core group was myself, Colton on the drums, Ryan on, on guitar, and uh, Micah on bass. We were in a band called DKA, which is actually a, like a punk rock and ska band. And so we had, had built up like a following doing that. And then I, I was kind of just like, you know, for my birthday, I just want to do one show of, you know, my solo music. Do you guys want to play with me? And they said, yeah. And we were having the hardest time finding a venue because under my name, there was no following. And so no venue really wanted to, you know, have us. Uh, but the Mint was the one place that was like, okay, yeah, like you guys can come and play. And, and we've been playing there ever since. That's actually where uh, we opened up for Katie Seagal. And that's where I met the guy who would end up producing California Mistake. Producing, recording, mixing, mastering, doing all of it. His name is John Paterno. He's actually a Grammy Award winning uh, producer. Wow. And uh, mixer. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's an amazing 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 guy an amazing friend and he's done work for for so many different i mean from from jazz to punk bands to tim mcgraw and uh, just just he's, he's ran the gambit and so the mint has been the place for us that is has always been the home venue so to do the first full band show over a year and a half because prior to that i believe it was uh back in i want to say february of 2020 when we did our last full band show at uh whitey morgan's place up in Oakhurst, California, uh, at Snowline Saloon. And so it was great. It was, it was great being back out there uh, and getting to play some of the new songs that we're, we're currently working on and, and recording and, and uh, get it out to people's ears and hear people. I, I'm always talking to people after shows, and so I love getting to hear everyone's thoughts about the music and stuff. Everybody's really excited. So it was, it was a fantastic weekend of Bakersfield and Los Angeles kind of like our, our two uh, home spots. Okay, so now you got, you're, so you're working obviously on this new album. We want to yeah. know, how do we how do we follow you? How do we listen to you? So, uh, best way to best way to follow, uh, I'm, I'm terrible with Facebook. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm terrible with, with my own website. I don't believe I've updated it since California State came out. <laughs> uh, definitely the best way to follow is uh, on Instagram, uh, which I want to say my handle is uh, C. Henry Music. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's definitely the best way to follow and, and keep up with us and what we're doing. And it's definitely, I try to be as transparent as possible about who I am as an individual on my uh, social media. And so you will get some fishing content, some shooting content. Sometimes we go out to the desert and we blow things up and, and shoot guns. A lot of cooking content because I love to cook, but yep. uh, definitely most importantly, yeah, music. And oh. you'll get all the updates there, and here's samples of songs and some of the new stuff we're working on. Oh, very cool! You are you're a funny dude, uh, and like nice. I said, like I, you know, I got this pioneer kind of vibe from you. I was gonna, gonna ask you about too, off yeah, the chart uh, explorers, I, 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 but I'm glad we didn't go there. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I do like to explore, but in terms of uh, the, the history of, of explorers, I, yeah. I am not uh, too well versed in that topic. It's okay. No one else would have been either. So my yeah. audience would have been completely lost. But hey, Gail of Henry, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for showing us around Fontana. But unfortunately, we have to kick you out. We have other places right, to go, right. other people to see. But all we ask is for one song. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is gonna be one of the new ones. Uh, it, also one of my favorite ones that will be coming out in the future. Uh, it is a song that is important to me and I try to be as honest as possible in my music. It is called A Place I Call My Mind. All right, well, hey, go ahead whenever you're ready. always see what they want never take the time to look past the wall black hat and shoes black pistol too black heart it's hard through and through Stage, I see the crocs tear. S H A M E, it's what's become of me. I guess I'll have to take the band of me. Riding for the sun, hand on my girl, get me out of town before I breathe. I hate this place. There ain't no time I can't stand the place I call my mind I think about the Lord Being with Him But I also think about all my sin Thank God for grace Shine on my face Praying that I die Before I wake Riding for the sun Hand on my gun Get me out of town Before I break I hate this place There ain't no time I can't stand the place I call my mind It's closing time I couldn't call Going back to see With whom I've walked Praise God, praise God For what I saw A bright light And then I heard the call There you go, that's Caleb Henry. Make sure to follow him. He got he has a lot of things coming up, but also make sure to check out his last album from last year, uh, excuse me, California Mistake. It's just, it's phenomenal. Uh, it's really, really, it's done very well. So Caleb, again, thank you so much for showing us around Fontana, and I hope to see you soon, maybe in Texas, I don't know. Hey man, I, I honestly, uh, I am actually working on plans to, uh, to visit Texas, uh, hopefully, Hopefully this year. So uh, I, I'll, I'll keep you informed for sure. You better. And you better bring that cool cowboy black hat that you that felt hat that you got. Uh, the Stetson, yeah. Yeah, the Stetson. You look like an outlaw. You belong out here already. Thanks so much, man. All right. Well, hey, Caleb, thanks again. And I hope to see you soon. Hey, absolutely. This could be our lucky day. Picture love, cause this could be our lucky day.